Hey, what is going on today, YouTube? Uh, we're going, uh, we're going over things again this week for Team Builder, and um, that is just because, yeah. I mean, I didn't really have anyone comment on the last Team Builder, but this time we're gonna be doing it on the game itself, and the audio is fucking up. Oh, that's because I'm using webcam. Well, I'll just have to cut the audio off. Whatever. Um. So yeah. <laughs> it's really annoying me. I have to take the headsets out. Your earphones. But um, yeah. So today we have um, for next week. Oh my god. For well, this week because we're on week three now. So this week we have uh, Lucky Green Nine and the Boston Celebes. And I'm sorry if you can hear the fan in the back of me. Um, it's hot in my room, so deal with it. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather be well, you know, kept kept. Then you be well entertained, maybe? I mean, this is just a team builder video, so don't take it too personally if you can hear a fan. Um, but yeah, so his team, he has a lot of threats for me. He has the Giratina O, the Scizor, the Mega Charizard Y. I mean, he has a really threatening team, and it kind of sucks that I have to face it and um, try and bring it down as much as I possibly can. So, the first thing that we have is um, Fastball, the Specially Defensive Heatran. And we have Fastball just because um, I need a counter to Mega Charizard Y. And a counter to um, other special attackers on his team, I think Mr. Mime. And um, this thing also stops Scizor. I have, to, I have to check what else he has on his team. Because so I know he has Scizor. I know he has... Oh, and if it's a special attacking Giratina O, then I can eat anything, barring if it has Earthquake or Earth Power. And that that really sucks. Um, that Giratina O is a problem. And that's why I have Toxic, because if it tries to switch in on me, it's going to get Toxic and worn down. And if he doesn't have Rest, he's going to get worn down. Which he hasn't been carrying Rest. He's been actually carrying more of the, the physical set for his team. Oh, he also has Jolteon, so that's what I need this for also. And the Sylveon. So every time he goes into Sylveon, it's a free switch into this thing. And he's been bringing Sylveon every week so far. I don't see why he wouldn't bring it against my team. Even though it doesn't really do anything against my team. It's uh, it's still it's still something he's been bringing. So yeah, we have Stealth Rocks just to set up Stealth Rocks for the, uh, for the Zard Y. And um, a majority of his team gets pr hit pretty hard by Stealth Rocks. So he'd have to be carrying Tentacruel to get rid of the rocks. And uh, even then he can't risk getting burned too much from a Lava Plume. And I am specially defensive, so um, he's not really going to be doing much to me. So yeah, Toxic is there for the Giratina. A uh, Lava Plume will possibly burn things, and it will hit the Scizor, the Verizion for super effective. And yeah, possibly burn things, that's about it. Um, I was originally running Roar on him. But I figured Toxic would be more important just in case he brings in the Giratina O. I have to Toxic it. I can't just switch it out because it's still a threat then. So. Yep, and he wants and if he wants to play the default game with me with a Giratina O, I am slower than it. So I can just keep setting up Stealth Rocks and Toxic wear him down so that I'm guaranteed to have my Stealth Rocks up. Um, same thing with the Tentacruel. I could Lava Plume it to let it get it burned and just keep setting up rocks on it till I get my stealth rocks up permanently. Um, next thing we have is our free agent pickup, um, Chestnut. And if you guys are unaware also, we trade it with the Clinks to get Gudra for our Mew. So we can no longer run Mew, but we can run Gudra. And uh, I'm not bringing Gudra this week though, because it doesn't really help me against his team. I don't see it helping me too much. I mean, it could, but he has the Sylveon, he has the Giratina O, and the Snorlax, it's just, it's too many things he can have to really hit me hard or stop me. So I brought Wrecker, the Chestnut, and um, he has max HP, max defense. Um, Leech Seed, Drain Punch, Spiky Shield, and Spikes. I figured I can pressure his team with Hazards really well, because other than the Charizard Y and the Giratina O and the Landers T, everything takes Spikes damage. So I'd be forcing him to go for the Rapid Spin or the Defog every single time I set up Hazards on him. 
and this thing can take hits. This is also my stop to the Snorlax setting up too much on me, because that Snorlax is an issue now, which was his free agent pickup, because um, he got rid of Fur Alligator for it, which I don't agree with. Um, I feel like Fur Alligator had more power than Snorlax. Snorlax just has more, more bulk, which he really needed to face my team. So, yeah, let's get on to the next thing, which is Murkrow here. Uh, Vic Black. And, um, Vic Black has Parish Song, Feather Dance, Mean Look, and Roost. And me and Ian did a mock battle, and this thing straight destroyed everything on his team. Anything that's a physical attacker, this thing comes in on, traps them with a Mean Look, sets up Feather Dances, goes for Parish Song, and just Parish traps them. And it's disgusting how well this thing works against Lucky's team. Um, if he brings in Scizor, and starts going for bullet punches, thinking he can KO me and do enough damage. I'm gonna mean look him, feather dance him, perish song him, and just keep roosting until I have to switch out. So, same thing with the Landorus T. If he wants to lead off with the Landorus T, I can feather dance, mean look, perish song. If he doesn't have U turn, he's gonna be trapped in there and he's gonna not enjoy it. And, um, same thing with Tyranitar. Um, same thing with Snorlax. This is also my stop to Snorlax if it's set up too far. So, people are yelling, and that's a thing. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, now, the fourth thing we have is Mega Mawile, Mr. Right. And Mr. Right is here to just um, set up Swords Dances, go for a Sucker Punch, go for a Play Rough, Iron Head. This is basically my thing to sweep his whole team. So, um, yeah. It hits everything on his team for super effective or neutral damage. Um, even the Scizor. Scizor can't do anything to me on my Mega Mawile, so I can just Sucker Punch it. Um, it can set up Sword Stances all it wants, because then I can go into um, Murkrow. Murkrow is basically... Murkrow is basically my I fucked up thing. So if I fuck up on one of his physical attackers, I can go into Murkrow, Feather Dance it, Mean Look it, Perish Song it, switch out into something that can take a hit, obviously. Which it will be able to after a few Feather Dances, and that's gonna be that. So, my fifth thing I have is my Alamomola, the Mitt. Um, the Mitt is here to basically just um, take hits, pass, wish pass wishes, and to catch him off guard by going for a Light Screen Mirror Coat. Now, a Light Screen Mirror Coat, um, a Specs Jolteon will only do 50% to me, and I will knock it out with a Mirror Coat. Um, Scald is there to just burn things again that I can't par- that I- well, yeah, uh, I can't poison, I can burn, um, like Tentacruel and Scizor, um, why else did I have this? I think this was mainly just my- my wish passing kind of thing, and, um, it puts in so much work because Wish Regenerator is just broken as hell, and, um, yeah, so my last thing I have is Ian's mom, <laughs> the Tyrantrum. And it is Choice Scarf this week. We're going Choice Scarf Adamant this week with um, Head Smash, Outrage, Ice Fang, Super Power. Super Power will two-shot the Snorlax if it does not get up curses. Head Smash will destroy the Charizard. It will destroy Sylveon. It will destroy Giratina O. It will destroy Tentacruel, Jolteon, uh, maybe not Jolteon, Mr. Mime, and maybe Tyranitar if I'm lucky. Outrage, again, just there to do damage, hard damage, once the Sylveon's gone, or if he doesn't bring the Sylveon, I can just spam Outrage at a certain point. It's basically whittle things down, come in with Choice Scarf Tyrantrum, and kill everything. That's the whole team idea right now, and it's been, it's gonna, it's, with the mock battles that we did, it's worked pretty well, to be honest. Um, I know the first time around I screwed up my team somehow, and, um, I lost so bad because my team was just not what it was supposed to be, and it screwed me up. Um, also, Ice Fang is there to hit the Landorus T hard as hell. It will still two-shot after an Intimidate. I've done the calcs for it, I believe, um, and it will two-shot after an Intimidate, and Stealth Rocks are up. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Um, Fastball, Vic Black, Mr. Right, Wrecker, The Mitt, and Ian's Mom. She's always on the team. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Um, maybe I'm bringing a horrible team against Lucky, but I, I've tested it out here and there. Um, I know that always helps me to prepare for my battles, and I'm blonde now, so that's a huge handicap for us to be blonde. 
because blondes have more fun, but they play stupider. So being blonde is a huge handicap for me and my team right now. I should really dye my hair like something smarter, like back to brunette or black or something. But um, for now, we're just going to stick with blonde and deal with the handicap and see how we go this season. Uh, I know we're 1-1 one one right now. We're coming off a tough loss from the Clinks. But I feel like we have a good chance of beating the Selvies this week. And we're going to be the ones to take them down. So thank you guys for watching so much. Let me know what you think about the team down below. Leave a like if you're rooting for the New York Shelmets this season of the PGL. And, um, yep, we're here to take it all this week. We're here to take it all. It all. Bye.